Hey there, my name is Adam Carpenter and I just wanted to share real briefly uh, my story of loss and then uh, subsequently my experience with Full Circle. Um, in November of 2017, my wife and I were pregnant with our first uh, baby and we learned at the 20 week ultrasound um, that the baby had a, a very terrible disease. We ultimately lost our daughter at uh, 23 weeks gestation. Um, we went through, you know, real briefly, uh, a period of kind of moving through life as if nothing had happened. I think uh, we were both um, completely wiped off of our feet and just did not know uh, exactly what to do, where to turn, or uh, quite frankly, how to process any of our uh, feelings and emotions. Um, we were lucky and uh, feel very uh, fortunate to have been connected with Full Circle um, when we were. We met uh, just a few months after we had lost our daughter. We got connected with Full Circle and uh, got involved in the perinatal loss group, um, which was just a completely life-changing um, experience and, and opportunity for us. Um, we knew, and specifically myself, I knew that what I was feeling and uh, the emotions uh, that I was experiencing, um, I had never felt anything like that before. I didn't really know how to process it, and um, I knew that I needed help uh, from a professional to kind of work through the different and and uh, the the very complex nature of what had happened um, to us. So anyway, we got involved uh, and did two uh, perinatal loss groups here at Full Circle, um, and I felt that it was incredibly impactful because uh, I was able to be around uh, other families that had you know, experience loss of, of their children, um, but also specifically to be around other men and talk to, you know, other men about their experience, their feelings, uh, and, and it was a safe space for me to express my feelings um, because, quite frankly, no one around us, not our friends, family, um, no one seemed to completely understand what we were going through. Um, and we don't blame them for that because they had never experienced it. But the reality was we needed to be around other like-minded people um, who were in a similar situation and could help validate our feelings. Um, there were certainly in our, uh, you know, those first six to 12 months, we had plenty of feelings of isolation uh, and loneliness. Um, and then furthermore, as I mentioned earlier, you know, just simply not knowing what was what we were feeling or, or what was going on so um, getting involved with the group was um, a great experience for us to to be around other men and um, hear how they handled uh, their individual situations and um, to, to also see that even though none of our stories were the exact same um, we all had very similar um, ways of coping with our loss uh, and, and trying to find ways to uh, memorialize and also remember our babies. One of the main things that I felt um, back when we lost our daughter was the pressure from the societal expectations of men uh, related to loss and grief uh, and just simply processing emotions. Um, you know, society tells us as a man that we need to be the rock and be strong. And in fact, we have phrases and sayings like, be a man. Um, and the reality is, is that those were not helpful in a situation like we were experiencing. Um, the reality is, is that life is not built for out of order deaths. And we needed, specifically, I needed the space uh, to be able to process my uh, feelings, process my emotions, try to focus on what was going on inside of my brain and inside of my body. Um, and so to hear things like be a man or to think about being the rock of the family um, was not necessarily the most helpful advice at the time that we had lost our daughter. I think going through everything with our daughter and, and losing her in such a tragic way, I think that the one thing that 
I've learned is that it's okay to ask for help and that there is no right way. Uh, there's no uh, linear path or right way to grieve the loss of someone important to you, um, whether that be your child, your parent, uh, a grandparent, a friend, whoever it may be. Um, there is no right way and it's important uh, and, and I hope that folks feel that uh, they can reach out and ask for help.